Alright, we are back to take on Pegasus. Um, I took out all those useless cards that I had that uh, I shouldn't have had in my deck, like Acid Trap Hold. Not useless, but not what I wanted. Um, Trent, I uh, took that out. There was another, like, two cards that I had that were useless. I still have 50 cards, but I replaced them, or re redid my deck a little bit, and I think it is pretty darn good. Hopefully the receipt saved. I did do it, but hopefully it did. If not, I'm just going to quit out and do it real quick but let's let's beat pegasus let's not let's not get our ass handed to us again but i put in a lot of high attack monsters and i put in some um other pretty good stuff um so we'll see hopefully this goes a lot better uh we'll probably see in this first draw nope never mind these are all cards i had before you have got to be kidding me with Toon World. I cannot believe that card. Choom Gemini Elf. You know what? I don't let him so stop it. You know what? Fine. Fine. I will activate you. Inflict 800 damage to him. Alright. I'm going to let him bring out some tunes. And then I'm either going to hit him with the... Hit him with the Mystical Space Typhoon or the Mirror Force. I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. Or he could just hit me with a card destruction or something like that and just F my world up. And there's another Tune card. He's gonna overlay, I think. Which... Why am I... I don't even have that many magic cards. You know what? I don't want to let him overlay. So I'm gonna do this. Because I... 100% no, I don't want to let him overlay. I'm going to set Mirror Force and Magical Cylinder. I probably should have just set Magical Cylinder. Uh, but, alas, I set them both. Because I wouldn't be surprised to see him play like a... I don't know. Tribute to the Doom. Alright, I don't need to do that yet. I want to see him. I want to see him summon some cards there, yeah, like flip summon tune cannon soldier. All right. I don't even really need to tribute to the doom. All right. No, I'm just gonna let it go for now. I know I can summon him, but I can really do some screwy stuff with him. Probably Magical Cylinder, this first one. Hoping he summons maybe more. We'll see. And this is a good test to see if he has a card that can block it. Which he does. Stupid Dark Bright. Alright, that's fine. I'll take the 2600, that's not bad. Tremendous fire. Alright, I'm going to activate Tribute to the Doom. And I'm going to discard Beige, which um, he'll get resummoned to the field. Should oh, it's when he's discarded, not... Yeah, he was discarded. I don't know why. I don't know why that didn't work right. Alright. So... Probably use Negate Attack and I'll Mirror Force a little bit later, because the way this duel started out, there is no guarantee I'm drawing a monster I can use. He's going to add Relinquish to his hand. Yeah, I'm just going to activate Negate Attack for now. Alright, Gores. Um, I'm just gonna let this go through. So I can drop my Gores token. No. I wanna take the 1400 damage. So that. Why? I have to have no cards. Oh, sweet. Alright, whatever. Just play Archfiend Soldier. I'm not gonna activate. Uh, Mage. Oh, my Mirror Force. Alright, fine. You know what I could do? 
No, that's stupid. I was gonna put. I was gonna activate Mage Fire and give it to him, and then activate Mirror, activate mirror Force to then kill him. Do I want to just? I want. I'm just gonna take the damage again. Fourteen hundred is not that much. Though, if he really gets anything, all right. There's Breaker. Play Breaker. I'm freaking worried about his crap that he has that he plays back there. So I'm gonna blow that up. What was it? Oh, it was Black Illusion Ritual. Thank God I blew that up. All right, just in case. Let's see here. I'll activate Mage Power. So when Breaker goes, when Breaker uh, kicks the bucket here, I will have the ability to then activate Mirror Force on the next time. Tank the damage after that and be able to drop gores. That's like the only option I have right now, really. I need to draw some monsters. There we go. Mad Dog of Darkness. Alright, 26. Okay, I win. Do I win? Do I win? Bam! Let's go. Coming back with a vengeance, Pegasus. You swept me earlier too, nothing. It's time I'm coming out with a vengeance. Man, it's late. Playing this real late at night. It's 1.50 a.m. where I'm at. Probably finish this up and probably go sleep. Oh, Pegasus chose to go first. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, just need to take... Oh, ho, ho, Gores. First, I could first turn Gores him. Toon Mermaid. He's gonna sacrifice Toon Mermaid. Bring out Toon Summon Skull. Alright. That's fine. I like to be Tremendous Fire. Deal some damage. So, I'm gonna be at 5,000 damage after this, because I want to drop Gores. I have no idea what that card is, but he's gonna attack directly. Obviously gonna take the damage. And let me bring out Gores. The Emissary of Darkness. I'm so happy I have this card. I don't know when I got it. But oh boy am I happy I got it. Gores is such a badass. Alright. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, I'm going to activate Tribute to the Doom. And I'm gonna actually send. I'm gonna actually send uh, Gale the Whirlwind. Just simply because um, I don't actually think I wanna. Uh, let's set Negate Attack just in case I need something. Just in case that's a Mirror Force sitting there, which it's not, and I can almost win right here. I pretty much won this duel. Because he's down to 300 life points, and I have a magic cylinder uh, just waiting for him in case he does drop something insane. Like if he dropped a relinquish right there and took control of that cores, I could still have a fighting chance to win. I'm actually going to hold on to that card in case he has something crazy. Like something blows up the field. Nope! Cores end this, baby. There we go. A quick little sweep of Pegasus after he swept me. I came back with a nice little vengeance and took him out. So I unlocked Pegasus. So we got Toon World. Nice. Uh, Aratama. Uh, Grand Tactician of Dark World. That's cool. I'd like to build a Dark World deck here. Um, if it's possible because Dark Worlds are awesome. Fortress Whale. Yeah. Ghost Recon. Or <laughs> Ghost Goblin Recon Squad. Sage of Stillness, Change of Heart, that's a nice card, but I think it's banned, so I can't even use it. Dice Try, Ancient Dragon, <laughs> playing a lot of Dark Souls 2, Ancient Dragon, lol. And uh, Voltic Bicorn, ooh. I don't know, I don't think I'll actually use Voltic Bicorn. Yeah, to the top. What's this the achievement for? Reach the top of the first ladder, yeah, I'm the goat. Great job, you've beaten every duelist in the tower section of the VDS. Move on to the next tower and become stronger. Beep. Alrighty, who are the duelists in here? So I start off against Tristan, 
And he's going to give over limit. Then you fight Mokuba, Duke Devlin, Mako, and then Kai... Wow, you fight Kaiba this early? Really, they that means probably Joey is here than Yugi. Really, that's stupid. I'd much rather... I think Kaiba should be here. What the... Why is D... Oh, I can change who I am. Ooh, whoopee. I'm going to be Taya. Um... Let's see here. Let's let's check what Pegasus' reward is now. Uh, still relinquished. Uh, that kind of sucks because Taya stayed the same too. So, um, Warrior Dragon. So you could get Guy of the Fierce Knight. That's not a bad card. Um, by today's standards, it's bad, but back in the day, it was good. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I know it's much shorter than the other one, but I think this is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, it It'll have like a real long episode of the, kind of the build up, the four preliminary matches, and then the final one. And uh, this one's going to be definitely, I'm definitely pumped for this one because Kaiba, between Kaiba Zane, Alexis Rhodes, and My Valentine, those are probably my four favorite Yu Gi Oh characters. Also, I like Akiza, um, and um, what's his face? I liked Raphael because I liked his deck. I, I have about 10 favorite characters. Uh, characters in Yu-Gi-Oh, but Kaiba's probably top three up there with um, Alexis, Zane, and Seto. Kaiba are probably my favorite three. Um, put them in any order on any given day, really. Uh, but I just like how Zane, Zane is the Kaiba of GX, and uh, they're both badass, so I, I, I like them. But yeah, uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, drop a like if, like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and um, I will catch you guys in the next episode where we'll start out taking on Tristan. Hopefully we can keep up on our undefeated streak uh, in the preliminaries, and hopefully we can take out Kaiba in one go instead of the the twice it took me to take out Pegasus. That was just because my deck was not built right. I think I can go on a pretty good win streak now, uh, now that my deck is built a little bit more how I like. But we will check.